recording is back on. Yeah, I really hope it will go as well up to me. Like I, I would really like to learn how to do video editing and things like that. That way, I can make it, you know, adjust the sound or edit out certain parts or put things in. You know, I don't know any of that stuff yet. Yeah, I like how the bear starts right there, and then when I start running up, that way he takes off. Yeah? Oh, the, the, it's an actual video editing software through Steam? Pretty easy to use. Vegas Pro. Then, then whatever you have is, is the one you got is not the best option. Yeah, I mean, easy to use is awesome, but you also want to have full capabilities too. You don't want to be. Uh, limiting yourself be also uh, and then it also comes down to you know how much you're going to be using it do you really need to spend hundreds of dollars on a fantastic editing software on that unless you're using it to make money Thanks for leaving a whole bunch of mud everywhere. I appreciate it. Yeah. I like to learn new stuff too. That's true, and I know there are like there are free editors out there. But they're pr I've heard they might be pretty limited as to what they can do. I don't know. I haven't really done a whole lot of research. And the, and the the uh, the software works out pretty well for what you need it for. You don't need anything more complicated. Yeah, it's nice for you. That's exactly. That's what you really need. Like I said, you don't need to have the biggest, baddest thing if you're not going to be using it for the biggest, baddest stuff. <laughs> That's true. Unless you have someone to sit there and teach you, or you watch a hundred million tutorials, just a slight exaggeration, then you're just going to confuse yourself.
No, I'm usually pretty good at figuring that stuff out, though. I'm pretty tech savvy. But when it comes to creating and being artsy, not so much. Just foot, just foot. Ah, whiff. Yes, exactly. You, you know, like, I didn't need to get the best video webcam. I didn't need to get the best lighting. I didn't need to get the best anything to do what I do. Maybe down the line. I got a crown, but it's the wrong one. <laughs> Thanks for the small spare if I appreciate it. Well, yeah, my equipment is pretty good. I mean, I only have a couple of small lights that I could probably make a little bit softer, honestly. Yeah, they have little buttons I can do. There we go. See? I just need to, sometimes I just need to mess with it. <laughs> upset that you're not seeing my bright face anymore. Because I've seen like gigantic like you see what's going on with my hand. I need better lighting for that. all the shadow the light the lights hitting it and making it ref reflect weird so I've seen like giant light boxes and all this jazz I'm like that would be cool if I had the money and if I actually did this for more than just fun you know that kind of stuff you know why hello there sir I'm gonna take you down you're first Heck yeah, I'm going to kill them both. Can I get him? Yeah. Your turn. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Later I will upgrade when I find something that's good to worth uh, upgrading to. Like I said, I don't have... There's so many opinions and There's really no one way to do it. Heck yeah. There we go. Harpoon him. Da 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 da. <laughs> Thank you, gents. <laughs> it's just any time, pals. <laughs> yeah, I like the boa boa way better than the uh, the gajalaka. The gajalaka are kind of annoying. Ooh, a vibrant jet. 
because they, they're neutral when they're just out there, so they'll attack you, and it's just, go away. Poison darts. Yeah, all those. It's just... Or even just throwing the explosion. It's like, come on. Just knock me away from my carving. Then you have to take your time. Turn around. Go fight them for a minute. And they're so tiny, they're kind of hard to hit. Alright, I'm going to go over here and I'll meet the... Meet the Rathian in battle. Because the Gadjalaki are up here. They're like, they're like right there. I can see them. Oh, it's... Like, dude. I know Great Sword is the worst for it, but I, I remember I used to play Hammer, and it's that's it's pretty bad, too. You're going for that big wind-up combo, and they keep knocking you out of it. Which is why Rocksteady Mantle is fantastic, or a lot of uh, Flinch Free, because I have one level of Flinch Free, I think. Yeah, that way nobody else knocks me out of my own thing, you know? Yeah, when I was messing around with my decorations after getting the set built up, uh, I was playing with people and I kept getting knocked around. I'm like, what's going on over here? I'm like, oh yeah, I took off my flinch free deco. Oops, that I need that decoration in order to make sure I don't get knocked out of my own combos. Yep. And it's actually handy otherwise, too. It's not even just with people. I mean, obviously, that's what people think about when they think about uh, Flinch Free. But even, like, weak monster attacks, the same thing, you know? This does not look like a small Rathian. Can you stop wasting my temporal mantle. Thank you. Especially when it's like I'm a hammer user, or you're, as you said, a great sword user, and you're going in for these combos, and there's a dual blades guy f flailing around everywhere, and you're like, "Come on, dude!" Yep, because long sword just has just the massive sweeping of attacks that hit a lot of things. Get tired of this quest. Again, it makes me think I got got it like a while ago, and I'm just controlling myself. Whiff, whiff, whiff.
You really like that game? Isn't it free? free games. Especially good free games. Those are pretty hard to find. Like, I've, I've played a lot of MMOs, and I found out that some of them just aren't that good. The ones I did enjoy, though, were, uh, especially the free ones. I liked, um, the Star Wars one that's out right now. I never played Galaxies. I heard that that was uh, in a league of its own. No, I did not play Fantasy Star. I think that, I don't know, when did that come out? I think that was on Sega, wasn't it? Yeah, I never had a Sega. I always had Nintendos growing up, and then I got on the PlayStation track as well. So I've never really owned anything Sega or Xbox related. Hmm. Was that an MMO as well? Or did it have elements of, of an MMO? Spirit cores. Was it more like Diablo then, where it's like you could have a few people working together? Or Path of Exile? Yeah. Yeah, or like Monster Hunter, exactly. Well then, if it doesn't have a raid boss, then it probably just more like, more like Diablo at that point. It's just like you just play together and go kill stuff and get loot. Yeah. I'll get this eventually. Yeah, I'm a fan of Diablo. Are you excited for Diablo 4? Yeah, how so? Yeah, Diablo 4 is going to be awesome. Not Russian blood. I'm not giving up. I want this crown. Give me your crown. <sighs> Sorry, pigeon. Target number
Well, the thing about a game marketplace is sometimes it's easy to tell what sells for a good price and what and you don't. It's hard to think about what doesn't. You know, in real life, it's more difficult because something can be worth more to one person than it could another. And you might buy it for like ten bucks and try to resell it for like twenty, and then you find out it's only worth five, and you're like, oh. There. Kill both of them in, what was it? Less than two minutes? Cool. Now I just have to wait for the Rathian to spawn. I would say that's an achievement, but again, these guys are high rank guys, not master rank guys, so. <laughs> Maybe, maybe to somebody. I'm gonna go loot the Kuluyaku, might as well while I'm waiting. Speedrun strats. No, years ago I actually tried to become a, tried to be a speedrunner. I would like watch the big, the biggest speedruns of certain games, like the the number one, and then I would like learn from them. And actually, I learned a lot back in the day. Like, it was, like, the one I was working on was a Super Metroid. And the guy, the record was, like, 57 minutes at the time for a 100% run. Not a any percent run. A, it was an everything run. And I watched that, and I ended up getting my own time under two hours with the strategies he was using. Now, not, it isn't just learning the routes and the, and the strategies, but also perfect inputs. Yeah, they, they, they find all the little niche things, and you're like, hey, this works this thing, this this doesn't do this thing. You know, it is what it is. your tail. Now your tail is mine. Crossing fingers. Nope. I know there's actually some videos out there but this guy actually putting himself up against a monster and measuring himself up against certain things. Like this is a large version, this is a small version. Never give up. I'm glad I'm not like doing wow rating like this because you, you know, be like, oh, I want this one thing, like doing, uh, trying to get invincible off of Heroic Arthas 25. The chances of it dropping in the first place are pretty rare. But imagine being back in the day where it's like, alright, you have 20, 25 people to contend with for this one super rare mount. I don't know people that still farm that to this day. 
And I was like, oh, I'm on my... Because you can only do it once a week. And I'm like, I'm on my... 70th week farming for this. It's like, jeez. I mean, I know that's not all you're doing in the game. But jeez. And I'm a fan of farming rare stuff. Especially in MMOs. But... That's going to be like a... Come on, turn around. I'm pointing that way. And there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I got a bunch of rare um, mounts in, in WoW. There. Stab him. Everybody throw. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then counting, because they still never got it. What was that time? Even faster. It was like a minute and a half. Speedrun strats. Incoming world record for taking down a, a high rank Kuliaku and Bareth. Nah, but I think what they want, they do world records, they actually have you do the whole mission. Because at the very end, it shows you like down to like the millisecond. How long it took you to do. Get more of these phantom cores here. None for me, thank you. I wonder how long it takes for a monster to actually spawn. What's up, J-Man? You stay down there. Like there it is. It's almost like a it's almost like a minute to despawn. Okay. Go get go get your coffee, buddy. Seeing ads over here, apparently they're working on Psychonauts 2. Never really finished the first one. I heard it's a fantastic game, though. I did enjoy what I get. I did get to play. Where am I? There we go. Wait for it to like fall down or something. I doubt it.
beautiful thing. So just for reference, Kuliaku, small and large, Barrett, small and large, J-Man, small and large, Rathian, small and large, and Diablos, small and large. I am finished with that quest. Finally. I'm going to go ahead and end that episode there. <laughs> Catch you guys next time.